my weekly fragrance rotation. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuels, your style godfather. And guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about my weekly fragrance rotation. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Shout out to the CIA. What's going on, you modern sexy savages? Guys, I've heard you. You're in the house while we're sheltering in place during this CV, and you've asked for more content. In particular, you said, what are you wearing during the week? Your request is going to be answered today. We're going to talk about my weekly fragrance lineup, and if you dig it, we'll make this a standing segment on the channel. Let's get into it. Shout out to the CIA, one love FBI. If you want to become part of the movement, make sure you join me on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content. Join me on that platform for things you will only see there. Details down in the description. First up on Mondays, on Mondays I tend to come into the world thinking, you know what, a lot of stuff needs to get done, a lot of stuff's on my plate. I wanna wear something that has presence, it's kind of neutral, not off-putting. Monday tends to be a lot of meeting days when the world is not like this, and on Monday I wore none other than Lalabo Musk 25. Look at the reviews, anybody that knows anything about fragrances will say this is probably one of the best Musk fragrances on the planet. Pure, minimalistic, incredible fragrance. The only downside about this is it's a city exclusive from La Labo, so it's harder to get your hands on, but if you got it, you know this stuff is fantastic. My Monday started off right with Must 25. On Tuesday, I broke out Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Incenso. If you've already seen my review on this fragrance, you know I dig this peppery incense. A little bit goes a long way, and on Tuesday, 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 I just like to kind of get it started. I kind of like to go into turbo mode, and incense really does that for me. Velvet Incenso is a great addition to my collection, I'm getting a lot more use in the days of head. Velvet Incenso, great for Tuesday. Oh, oh yeah. On Wednesday, on hump day, we had none other than Armand Jane Amber Royale. Now, I've done a full review on this, so I'm not gonna spoil it, but I will tell you, a sweet, sexy, sophisticated amber fragrance that just turns heads every time I wear this, especially when it catches the wind. People are like, what a, who is that? Who smells so good? On the upside, for me, is not a lot of people wear this in my area, so I get even more love. So even sheltering a place or when I go outdoors a little bit, it just kind of catches the breeze. And you know what? You want to give some people a nice breeze, especially with all these face coverings and masks. Wednesday, Amber Royale, great day. Thursday, Bond Number no. 9 Signature Scent, Bond Number no. 9 Perfume. I love this fragrance because it's simple. Musk, Tonka, Rose, Oud, and a big dose of ISO E, Molecule 01. Guys, I have digged this fragrance since day one, and I will tell you, on men's skin or on women, it takes a different characteristic. This stuff is just a sexy, sexy beast. It's <laughs> Every time I wear this, man, I'm telling you, I put out some hammers this week, because I knew I was gonna be doing this list, but every time I wear this, I remember why I love it, why it will always stay in my collection. Bond number no. nine, signature scent. If you like what I like, you will dig this one. Oh, dig it. Thank God it's Friday, Friday, Friday. And Friday was a good day for Oud for Greatness. Yes, the hype train on this one is well deserved. I love this stuff. Now, a lot of people are comparing it to a dirty version of Baccarat Rouge 540 and me. I really don't get that. I don't get that. I think it's its own fragrance by its own right. I will be doing a standalone review on this stuff, but I'm gonna tell you, this house is actually doing some things right. And man, oh man, is this a compliment monster, a conversation starter. Food for greatness, great fragrance, great for Friday, great for any day, especially in the springtime. One fragrance house above them all, and that house is Chanel. And on Saturday, on Suit Saturday, we wore Chanel Cormandel, arguably a masterpiece fragrance of a masterful line. Chanel Cormandel is a patchouli is patchouli done right. Oftentimes patchouli tends to be a little bit earthy, a little bit too hippie, but when you have something that's more smooth, more sophisticated, a little bit smooth, sophisticated, kind of classy, Chanel Cormandel, anyone that knows anything about fragrances will say this one, even if they hate the line, they love this one. 
Chanel, Cora Mandel, great fragrance during the springtime, great in a suit, great in a t-shirt and jeans, great anytime. And I'm glad I actually wore it on Saturday. And then we get to Sunday, and normally you want to kind of cool it out, especially because you have bangers all during the week. But I said, nope, we're going to swing for the fences with YSL 24. Sandalwood, sandalwood, sandalwood. Probably the holy grail of sandalwood fragrances before it was discontinued was Killian Sacred Wood. Luckily, I have a whole lot of it in the reserve, so I'll never be without it. Right after that, people tend to dig Tam Dow or Santal 33. For me, it's this one. I like this one as much, not more, but as much because one, I got a whole lot of it too because it can be worn any season, any reason, year round, and this strikes me as a little bit more sophisticated. If sacred wood is a little creamier, while well, this is a little bit drier, that means you can actually get more use out of this for this age to that age, any way you're dressed. YSL 24, a great sandalwood fragrance on Sunday. Glad I have it in my collection. If you don't have it, guys, if you like sandalwood fragrances, get a sample of it, try it, or when we get out of this whole shelter in place, get to your local Neiman's and go. <laughs> but wipe the bottles down first. Ah, he was right. Yep, he was, he was right. Yep, YSL 24, fantastic sandalwood fragrance. Guys, do me a favor, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you wore, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Write down your fragrance rotation. Let's share this information, especially while we're doing this whole shelter in place. Some people are about to get back out in the world and kind of start moving around. You want some good recommendations to get some conversation started. Inquiring minds would like to know. Godfather, out. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.